There is a treasure hunt underway in Greenland. With ice there melting rapidly, new ground is being exposed, and under it could be some incredibly valuable minerals. I'm joined by Chair of the United States Arctic Research Commission, Mike Sprega. Mike, thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. So Jeff Bezos, Michael Bloomberg, these are two of the billionaires funding this. What are they looking for? Well, they're looking for rare earths and critical minerals. They they are, have a pattern of looking to the future, and rare earth and critical minerals are part of the world's future. So they're looking for a vital critical resource at an incredibly consequential time. And do we know that these resources exist where they're looking? We do. We know that there are uh, deposits along what now is exposed land in Greenland. Uh, the future of Greenland is still up in the air, as you just showed on your program. Uh, our globe is changing. The climate is changing. So more and more land in Greenland will be exposed. But there currently are deposits, probably economically viable deposits, of this rare earth and critical mineral resource that we will need uh, going forward for our cell phones, for uh, electric vehicles, for solar panels, for the green transition. What kind of minerals are we talking about? Uh, zinc, cobalt, titanium, lithium, the, the list can go on and on. All of those things that we have in our cell phones, in our batteries, our cars are basically computers with wheels. Anything that requires that kind of connectivity, these are very valuable resources. It is, quote unquote, a gold rush for the future. But in order to transition for the future, you need all of those minerals in very different pockets of the world where you can find them. You still have to get them to supply chains and then out to resources like if people are waiting for a vehicle, there's a reason you're waiting for your vehicle, a, a number of reasons you're waiting for your, your car right now. And one of them is because of supply chain problems with not just chips, but with the very minerals we need to create the technologies for the future. So what's interesting here is that climate change is causing the ice to melt, revealing this new earth, which could actually help our future as far as helping to deal with climate change. It, it is a dichotomy. It's almost, uh, it almost doesn't make sense when you say it out loud as you just did. But in fact, that's what's happening, at least in places like Greenland and in fact elsewhere. And if it's not the exposure of the landscape so that it's economically viable to mine these resources, it's about having lanes for shipping that are now more viable than they were before. Not that they are ice free and that they don't pose problems in terms of safety and economics, but the globe is becoming so much different than it was before. And it is hard to imagine that the very thing that is exposing this landscape, the climate change, will require mining. Now, in the long term, this may be the solution, or at least a part of the solution, to getting our planet cooler rather than warming. Yeah, very, very interesting. Is this then the first time this land would have, would have been seen? Is this the first time the, melt has, the ice has melted off of it? No, the, the areas that they're currently, well, two things. In parts of Greenland, yes, we're seeing huge volumes of water. Uh, being funneled into the ocean and the sea surrounding Greenland. And there are parts of Greenland that are currently being exposed. The land that is currently under uh, exploration has been exposed, at least in the summer, for exploration seasonally. It's not as if the ice cap has melted and we have discovered all of Greenland. That far from it. It'll take another century for all of Greenland to melt. However, we don't want that to happen. So parts of the landscape, of course, are opening. But right now, industry is looking at those resources that are proximal to the coastline so that you can ship these resources out. Uh, they're looking at areas that are already accessible so costs can stay down. They're also looking at ways in which they would have to power a future mine. Now, Greenland is blessed with incredible hydropower potential. And so you could link cleaner, uh, more economically viable energy along with a currently exposed landscape for deposits that are economically viable. There's a lot of ifs in those sentences. Absolutely, but it's something to look to. Uh, Mike, thank you very much for your time. Appreciate you joining us tonight. Thank you for having me.